Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the final episode to Five Nights at Freddy's. We are going to go into night six. I, um, there is a one more night after this, but there's nothing story related or whatever. Uh, might show it off, but yeah, let's go into night six, shall we? Now, I don't think we get a phone call at, at all. There's a Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy are in place. And they're already out. Oh, these cameras are out for a long time. Jesus Christ, can I see where they are? Oop, okay, Freddy. He's staring at the camera. I believe that's a rare event. That might be the thumbnail. I don't know. Chica's coming down the hallway. Let's close the door just to be safe. This is, I don't know where Chica is. Bonnie's in the hallway. Where is Chica? Where's Bonnie? Okay, he's in the closet. Alright, Chica's... Freddy looked at the camera again. Bonnie's in the hallway. Five children has been reported missing. Uh, suspect suspended. Now let me close that so that way I can actually read that because I did not know that was there. Oh, I'm not gonna read it because Cheek is there. Oh wait, I bet it's despawned. Yep, it has. You might be able to pause the video and be able to see it, but yeah. That was one of the hidden lures. It is obviously, uh, the fifth night is not a great night for lure hunting because you have to really be worried about the animatronics. Oh, here we go. Five children are, uh oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna close that so that way if it appears again I can actually read it. Oh, Chica says, fuck you. You're not going to read it if it's still there. Bonnie's gone. Can we get it to appear, please? Freddy hasn't moved. Foxy hasn't poked his head out. Come on, appear you stupid lore. Great, it's determined not to show up. She gets coming down that hallway. Freddy's moved! Okay, so Freddy's in the dining area. Bonnie's down the hallway. Where's Chica? I'm not opening the door until I have an idea where Chica is. Ready a look. Woo! Close the door! Alright, Cheek is there so I can safely open that door. Freddy's there. Bonnie's in parts and service. Chica, I think is in the kitchen. Foxy is really being docile. 
Until I have cameras again, I'm not opening either door. Of course, as soon as I... Close the Bonnie door until I know roughly where Bonnie is, so he's in... Chica's in the bathroom. Yeah, that lore about the missing children don't want to appear again, apparently. Wait, Chica's... She was in the dining room. Okay, she's in the restroom. That lore really doesn't want to reappear, does it? I'm surprised at how docile Foxy is being. It's like, wow, this this guy really loves me. I'm not going to attack him whatsoever. And where the hell is Bonnie? See at my door? No. I'm not opening that door until I. Okay. Bonnie's there, but everybody's moving. So, yep, that door's staying shut. Oop, hello! Freddy, I don't know if he's moved at all. Chica, I think, is in the kitchen? Okay, now she's in the dining area. Well, she was. Let's close that ad prematurely. Everybody's moving. Freddy is still there. Foxy is not once activated. Yep, that door's staying shut. Don't know where Chica is, so I'm closing that door for safety. Five children now reporting missing suspect has been convicted. Ah, as soon as I fall, oh, I'm gonna close this door so that way I can read it. Nope, it goes away when you pull your camera back up. Oh. He's already in the kitchen? So, does he go to the kitchen then bathroom or did he skip the bathroom and went straight to the kitchen? Wow, that lure really doesn't want to pop back up. Yep, that I thought Bonnie was at the door, so that door's staying shut. Don't run. Oh, oh! Yep, close that! And it's 6 a.m. We couldn't read that lore because every time it popped up, I was worried that an animatronic might come get me, so... We beat in the final night. And we get paid 150... 110 dollars and 50 cents. That overtime was not worth it. <laughs> and you unlock custom night. Basically, you can um, set the difficulty, the AI levels. You can even set them to zero and they'll never show up. 
But yeah, you can see on the bottom, like, 0 to 2 is easy. I think if they're set to 0, they don't show up whatsoever or never be active. 3 to 6 is medium, 7 to 12 is hard, and 13 to 20 is extreme. So, actually, I'm curious. Let's turn on Fast Nights and Map Radar. Because I'm curious if A, the cheats carry over, and I'm curious if how they move around in 2020. I'm going to keep the door shut the entire time. There's no way I can do this legitimately, but... Because 2020 20 mode is really difficult. But I'm just curious how they move around. Okay, so the map... Okay, so radar puts a picture on where they are. That's interesting. So it shows you where they are in a room. And as you can see from the radar, they move around ridiculously fast in 2020. I don't think the cameras ever once showed any image. So yeah, while we So while this is happening and we're watching the animatronics move around, while Freddy and Chica are in the same room. Um My thoughts, this was a brilliant game when it first came out. Obviously compared to other FNAF games, it hasn't aged the greatest. And it's probably one of the more difficult ones, although the probably the one the title that has the most difficulty is definitely FNAF 2 by far. But yeah, uh it's definitely a fun game. It was uh, the history of this game, how it was made, is interesting, and the lore, oh my god, when you deep dive the early, the lore of the early Freddy games, it is amazing, and I think the lore, besides from this being a unique take on the horror genre, um, yeah, unique take on the horror genre, um, just the lore aspect of all this hidden lore, like, if you you know, play the game and look at everything at face value, you never learn the true lore in the first couple of Freddy games. But when you start deep diving into the lore and start looking for the hidden secrets and and whatnot, you really, really get into just like how everything works and like like if you didn't find the lore and whatnot, you would not know that these animatronics are possessed by children. You would not know that, you know, children die. In either this pizza reader or a prior one. And their s bodies were stuffed into these suits. And basically their souls have inhabited the suits. And have essentially become trapped in them. And became like essentially angry wraiths. That are constantly searching for their killer. To, tr uh, to hopefully achieve some level of peace. Ease and move on. So it's definitely very interesting, and I love what happened to the series and where it is currently. Yeah, as you can see from just how they move around the map, 2020 mode is not a fun time. I have seen LPers like uh, Markiplier and and I think like a few others do it, but oh my god, it is not a fun time. And when the and when the creator Scott Coffin made this, he was surprised that. Some people, like Markiplier, were able to beat it, because even he couldn't beat it. And he was the developer. And thought it was like, okay, I'll leave this as a fun little, like, challenge, but I don't think anybody's ever gonna beat it. Because also, another thing you wouldn't know, because I have unlimited power on, as the nights progress, your power consumption gets worse and worse. Like... You know, closing the doors, spending, you know, spending time in the cameras. Your power seemingly drains faster and faster. And in this mode, in 2020, that power consumption, especially since you have to worry about, you know, this shit. It just goes by really fast. Okay, it looks like five, it looks like Fast Nights cuts the nights in half because it's right now 5 a.m. and I think it's been around five minutes. 
So yeah, where night usually takes about 10 minutes, um, it seems like in Fast Night, it's, that time is cut in half. Yeah, that is custom night. Yeah! Notice of termination, you are fired. Reason, tampering with the animatronics, general unprofessionalism, and odor. Thanks, Mike Smith. But yeah, that is Five Nights at Freddy's. So I do hope you enjoy this this uh, project and I'll see you for the next one so if you like this do you like the video subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down, be down below on your thoughts on this episode and share the video so I have more people can discover my content and help the channel grow and I'll see you all next time later <laughs>